Hi everyone, this is Sarah of the HealthyHomeEconomist.com and with this video I'm going to show you how to make your own healthy salad dressing at home and this is a very important item for you to learn how to make yourself. You really should not be buying salad dressings from the store. Uh, even at the health food store, uh, for example in my health food store the two major brands are Annie's and Drew's and they both are unacceptable uh, because they use either soybean oil or canola oil or a mix of the two and these types of oils you really need to be avoiding in your diet. These are the types of oils that are consumed to excess in the western diet and consuming these types of polyunsaturated oils to excess is responsible for the epidemic of inflammation that we have uh, in our western society which is you know the root of many many ills many ailments so you really need to be avoiding these kind of oils as much as possible because you get as you get these types of oils uh, in sufficient quantities just eating a basic whole foods diet you don't need to add them in um, through buying processed foods at the store so by making your own dressing at home you're avoiding these types of oils and um, doing yourself a lot of good I have very rarely seen a good quality salad dressing at the store. There is one, however, that just recently became available at my uh, health food store, except it's very, very expensive. It's an all raw honey mustard um, dressing by Glace Organic Farms uh, down in Miami, which is um, fairly local to me. And uh, but it's a, it's it's seven dollars for this one bottle. So you know if you have the means to buy a good quality salad dressing, then by all means do so. This one um, uses um, olive oil in it as the oil, which is which is a great choice. And what I'm going to show you today to make it yourself. But you know if buying you know you can go through these in a, in a couple of days. So if buying a seven dollar bottle salad dressing is just not something that you want to be doing on a frequent basis. And take a look at what I have to show you here. You can make something <clears throat> um, just as high quality, just as fantastic for much, much less. So what I'm going to show you today is how to make honey mustard, basically. Um, we've got this honey mustard for $7 that we can buy at the store, or we can make it here at home. And uh, I've got organic Dijon mustard, uh, and the brand is Woodstock Farms. I have a local wildflower uh, raw honey. Um, here and I have um, raw unfiltered Bragg apple cider vinegar. I recommend that this that you have this for you making your salad dressings at home. And also I have uh, an extra virgin olive oil, a good quality one. Make sure your extra virgin olive oils come in a dark bottle, dark colored bottle, to preserve the freshness of the oil. And all you do is uh, get yourself a jar. I've got the honey, a couple, two tablespoons of this raw wildflower honey in this jar, and I'm going to add. A third of a cup of apple cider vinegar. I'm going to stir it up and I'm going to add my Dijon mustard. Get yourself a little whisk and whip that around. Mix it, mix it up nicely. Make sure all that honey is dissolved. And then the final ingredient is going to be a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. And then you're just going to basically emulsify this very in a very small stream. You're going to whip and whip very quickly. As I'll just move this a little bit farther back from the edge. Keep whipping. Pour this extra virgin olive oil in. You can also do this in a food processor. Remember my mayonnaise video where I showed you how to do make your mayonnaise similarly uh, whipping this if you're making large batches uh, a food processor might be a good idea where you can stream this liquid in quick uh, drop by drop and basically you're done you have a salad dressing how easy is that and then you just like I said I have it in a jar here you can use it immediately Put a lid on it in the refrigerator. The olive oil will um, harden in the refrigerator, so you'll have to bring it out a few minutes before you're going to use it so it softens up so it's pourable at the table. Now another modification you can use uh, for this basic honey mustard dressing would be to be, make a maple dressing. What you can do is substitute grade B maple syrup instead of the honey. You can add one clove of crushed garlic and an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. 
and mix that in. The other ingredients are the same. The Dijon mustard, the apple cider vinegar, and the olive oil are all the same. You just substitute the maple syrup for this and add a little black pepper, eighth of a teaspoon, and one crushed garlic clove. And do basically what I showed you just, just then. Mix all the ingredients, do the olive oil last, whip it together, emulsify it as you're uh, pouring it in a thin stream, and you've got yourself a maple dressing. And those are both fantastic dressings. I'm sure you'll enjoy both of them. They're both delicious. And so if you have not made this change in your home, I um, strongly encourage you to do it right away because this is something that can have a big impact on your health. This is Sarah, the Healthy Home Economist, wishing you all the best in the kitchen.